I stated it all. I wanted to state it all here. I did not state that all. Right. all. No, he said that I stated it. Yes. I've never stated it. I, I never stated it all. I wanted to stay away yeah. from the Jewish the question because everybody become a liar and a hypocrite when they're discussing it. The dishonest. I want to also stay away from the Muslim question because everybody's dishonest when they discuss that. And I want to stay away from the fakery of Louis Farrakhan. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Next question, please. You can go, get, but this right here coming directly from Farrakhan, okay? I want y'all to hear this. Now, let me know if it's too loud. Let me know if it's too loud. Just put a comment in there. So Shabazz was not permitted to stay in that area, so he took his family into the jungle of East Asia, which we now call Africa, to make a people close to nature. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, this is the origin of kinky hair. Because we didn't have kinky hair prior to that. The hair on our head was like the hair on our eyebrows. The hair on your eyebrows straight, the hair on your head is not the same as the hair on your eyebrow. But the hair of every other people is the same as their eyebrow. Your eyebrow straight, your hair something different. Wouldn't you like the hair on your head to be as straight as the hair on your eyebrow? <laughs> That's why you're so busy frying it. That's why you're so busy pulling it. Because your nature tells you that the kink. <laughs> I mean, you know, with, with I'm black and I'm proud. We got to learn to be proud of kinks because most of your family of other black people on the earth, jet black, they didn't have no broad nose and thick lips and kinky hair. They were dark skinned people, jet black, but they had straight hair, a thinner lip, a thinner nose, but we are marked as a different kind of black person. And we were rejected and despised, not only from the circle of the gods, but we were despised and rejected by all the other dark people of the earth. This is why today black people with kinky hair and broad nose and thick lips are rejected in every society. I want you to hear me well tonight. Yes, sir. Why are we rejected? Because the essence of beauty is in obedience and submission to God. And the essence of ugliness is when you rebel against God. And when you rebel against God in your rebellion, you are marked with a certain mark of your rebellion, which is the disfigurement of your internal self which manifests in the disfigurement of your external self. And this is why when you look at our people, wherever we are found on the earth, you find us either disfiguring ourselves physically because we are disfigured on the inside because of rebellion. Oh, oh, that's a wicked man. That's a wicked man. I must say that. That's a wicked man. Oh, my God. That's, that's the curse of Ham. That's the curse of Canaan. Where, where, where my Dr. Ben book? Where my Dr. Ben book? And they, and they say they got Dr. Ben library. Well, I got one too. I got this. And you think Dr. Ben would allow some garbage teach? This nigga is teaching the curse of Canaan 
the curse of Ham. The nigga say we marked. He's saying we cursed. Did you hear that shit? He's saying we marked. Nigga talking about the bro. This is, ain't no difference than that nigga and the peck of wood. What they taught to us all during slavery, man. Hold up. Let me go to work. Let me go to work. Let me work. Let me work. Where the curse of Cain? Where that curse of Cain in that? I got to go straight to it. I got to go straight to it. I got to go straight to it. Let me get in here. Go to work. I got to teach tonight. Okay, y'all heard it for yourself. This nigga said our hair was originally straight. And I'm going to tell y'all the reason why they teach that. Because they got to justify a white man as they say you. That's why when you got a white man as your God, nigga, you start to disfigure your mind and your body to look like the cracker. That's why many of our people is putting a uh, skin lightener all on their face trying to look like white people because they use white people as the standard of excellence in all of this. Okay, look at Sammy Sosa. So sad, Sammy Sosa. So sad, Sammy Sosa. Then took all the melanin out of his hair, out of his face. And then you, you look at Farrakhan when he first started in the Nation of Islam, he had woolly hair. Now the nigga got a juicy curl in his head. That's right. He got a juicy curl in his head. And they all got the part in their head to look like fraud Muhammad. Hold up. I got to get to the curse, okay? I got to get to the curse of Cain. I should have had that. Let me see. Man, God, where is it? Please let me find this immediately. Because I got, I mean, it sounds like the, the nigga teaching word for, for word out of the damn curse of Cain. Please, Dr. Ben, lead me straight to the page. I know I got it outlined. I know I got it outlined. Please, Dr. Ben, lead me straight to the page so I can go upside this nigga, nigga head sitting up here teaching anti-African teachings in the nation of Islam. And don't y'all niggas ever say that I'm making shit up. Ain't nobody making shit up on you niggas. Ain't nobody making shit up on you niggas. We telling you just mad because we telling the goddamn truth. And if you niggas is that damn dumb to fall for some shit like that, well, get the fuck on up out of my chat. I don't need no silly-minded niggas like you in my chat. Where this goddamn shit at? My God, my God. Where is it? I wonder if I took it out of here. Uh-uh, I'm going in the back. I'm going in the back. I'm about to find that. I'm about to find that. I ain't coming up. I'll, I'll snatch them all down. I know one of them in here. I know he got it in there. Don't go nowhere. Sit your ass still. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing a goddamn thing. Sit your ass still. Here you go. Woo! See, I, don't, I know where to go get it. Okay, if you need it, this is cultural genocide in the black and African studies curriculum. Okay? Page 29. Okay? Listen to this shit. And then we're going to replay this self-hating nigga. Okay? Anybody out there got a problem with it, bitch, bring it to my chest, bitch. You fuck niggas. Y'all thinking y'all could bully me, nigga? Bitch, I wish y'all niggas would even try. You fuck niggas. Bring it on, bitch. Bring it on. I can't wait. I'm, I, everywhere I go, I'm going to be looking for one of you hoe ass niggas. Wait a minute. Now I cannot beget the fourth son whose children I would have ordered to serve you and your brothers. 
Therefore, it must be Canaan, your firstborn, whom they enslaved. And since you have disabled me, since you have disabled me, doing ugly things in the blackness of night, Canaan's children shall be born ugly and black. More, uh, listen to this. Moreover, because you twisted your head around to see my nakedness, your grandchildren's hair shall be twisted into kinks and their eyes red. Again, because your lips jested at my misfortune, there shall swell, okay? And because you neglected my nakedness, they shall go naked, and their male members shall be shamefully elongated. Men of this race are called Negroes. Their forefather Canaan commanded them to love theft and fornication, and to be banded together in hatred of their masters and never tell the truth. This is after Babylonian is too loud or not too loud. Okay. You say not too loud. All right. Am I too loud or what did you say, sister? What did you say? Am I all right out there? Am I too loud? Somebody say something. Fuck, I got to tell people. Okay, I don't know. I'm coming with the fire. If I'm too loud, somebody say something. Well, anyway, don't bother me no more. Okay? So, in reality, he's teaching the curse of Canaan to our people. He's teaching. These is actual facts. So don't no motherfucking body tell me why I'm on top of these niggas' heads. Now, let me ask you something. I was just thinking about this. I look at the dress of the sisters for, I see you out there, Pharaoh. I'm on these niggas every night until I exhaust all my knowledge on these niggas. <laughs> 